Hello guys, this is Rashid and you're watching Step by Step Robotics. So uh, today I would like to show the demonstration of the patrolling robot. It's the one of the projects that I'm working on now. And uh, let me explain that uh, this video is not a tutorial video. Uh, it's just a video that show what I did. And I would like to show some of the function that the robot uh, can do. So uh, let's get started. So the idea of this robot is um, the operator can operate the robot from the website. So um, I'm using the WebRTC, the Google RTC peer connection. So the signaling server and the hosting website, the web console is running uh, on AWS. So on the right bottom uh, corner, you will see that the robot uh, that I'm going to use for today. So there is a OCD camera to run as a webcam and it's going to detect a human. And on top of that, there is speaker. So the operator on the another side of the robot can speak to their mic and then the sound will be played on the speaker. So I'm using LiDAR, the TG30 from YD LiDAR. Uh, and the navigation software is the ROS2 Navigation 2. So once the operator uh, access the web console, you will see that uh, the web page is loaded. And on the left uh, upper, there is the uh, web streaming from the robot. And on the left bottom, there is a map that was uh, previously made by the SLAM. So, uh, depends on the place, the map will be different. And on the right side, uh, you will see the alarm message. When the uh, camera can detect some human, it will show some alarm. And there's some buttons like the manual control that the user can press uh, up, left, right, or back to control the robot manually. And on the mission control, if you click on the load mission, the previous made uh, mission will be showing. And if the user press on start mission nav, the robot will start from uh, zero point and then go to one, two, three, four. So you can see that when the robot uh, detects some obstacle in front of it, so it will try to uh, avoid by create a new path and that's come from the uh, navigation to algorithm and then it will try to finish the mission and it will loop over and over because this application is the patrolling so uh, it will just keep going until the user press uh, the stop there is a uh, clear all mission which is going to clear all of the path and the points on the map. And then you can click on the make mission. So then you can click on the map and like drag the point and edit the point. And once you finish, you can click on finish editing. And finally, you can save uh, this point for the later use, or you can just click on Start Mission Nav to uh, start the robot now. So you can notice that the robot doesn't need to go back to the first point all the time. So it will check on the closest point, and then uh, it will start moving from that. Because when we edit the waypoint, uh, we don't need to bring the robot back to the original point all the time. So we just let the robot go to the closest point and then, and then let it continue to the next point. And also there is um, a single point navigation. So you can just click on the select point and then you can just click on start guided nav. So the robot will just go to that point uh, directly. 
And of course, lastly, you can uh, click on the up, left, right, and back to control the robot manually. So this is just in case that you want to interrupt the robot mission. And that is for the demonstration. Thank you for watching.